Like a good teacher, I'm going to check whether you remember what I said last Sunday. So, we began with the question that was actually the gospel of the previous Sunday. What must I do to inherit eternal life? And what did I change that question to? What must I do to experience God? And we saw how Luke is so systematic in his writing. In chapter 10, he gives us this answer to this question, love God, love neighbor as yourself. And then he gives us an example of love neighbor, and that was story of the Good Samaritan. Thank you. And then he also gives us the example of last Sunday's text, the example of love God, the whole question of Mary and Martha, loving God through listening and loving God through service. That ends chapter 10. We now move on to chapter 11. And here is the whole story of praying. The disciples asking, Lord, teach us to pray. So Luke is still aware. The question, what must I do to experience God? Love God. How do you love God? And then comes this whole dialogue on prayer. And of course, the central message of this today's readings, both Abraham and Luke, what is the central message? Persistence in prayer. We see Abraham arguing with God. If there were 50 people, would you kill the whole of Sodom and Gomorrah? If there were 40, if there were 30. So Abraham is bargaining with God. He's persisting. And finally, we come to today's readings in the gospel where again Jesus says, we need to persevere in our prayer. And he compares people with God. So if a father can give his children good things, how much more will God give to us? And sometimes we may ask ourselves, but why is it that I cannot persevere in prayer? Sometimes we get bored. Sometimes we get distracted. Is that an experience of all of us? Definitely for myself. And so we just step back a little and say, maybe we are stuck with only one type of prayer, a prayer that maybe we've grown up with and we are not ready to explore. But there are various different types of prayer, and I'm sure you know it, and I'd like your participation in today's homily to tell me what are some of the different types of prayer? So you can feel shy for 30 seconds, but then after this, I'd like your answers. What are the different types of prayer that you know of? Anyone? Meditation. Meditation. Very good. What else? Talking. talking to God. Thank you. Prayers of thanksgiving, gratitude, an important part. Adoration. We are going to have an adoration on this coming Tuesday at 7 p.m. What else? Someone said something? Sorrow. Sorrow. Mercy. Okay. Same thing. Seeking for forgiveness. Revealing. Novenas, novenas, okay, nine days of consistent, persevering prayer. Two, three important things we need. Lecture divina, okay, so the Bible, taking the Bible and studying the Bible. What else? Mass, that's the most important part of our prayer. And the Vatican II has put the Eucharist as the fount of all our prayer. Anything else have you forgotten? I think we yes. For me, I think. Yeah. Doing something good for the poor, for the needy, I say myself, is a prayer. Absolutely, doing something good for the poor. Okay, and I said last time, yours is a very giving church. Okay, so prayer does not stop here. It's when we go out into our daily life that prayer continues. So as you can see in these short two minutes. We have seen a wide ways in which we can pray. And of course, uh, Mary and Andrew will get angry because we've not mentioned one important thing. Singing. So singing is praying twice. 
Okay, so that is another thing. The point I'm driving at is there is so much available for us to pray. So sometimes if we are bored maybe with one type of prayer, and that's okay, we can move on to something. Maybe just open a hymn book, take a favorite hymn of yours, and sing it, or go through the lines. Or open the Bible, go through your favorite passage. Or sometimes we need just quiet time, just quiet meditation, just being in silence with God. Our prayer life is very similar to the life we live when we are with someone we love, maybe a spouse, a lover, whatever. Sometimes we do a lot of talking, and sometimes we can be in silence. We can spend hours together with a person, and there's no need to talk. So if we are able to open ourselves to various different types of prayer, and in our spiritual journey, sometimes maybe this prayer works, and sometimes the other. And there's no right or wrong. There's no this prayer is better than that prayer. The church, right from the time we are children, gives us vocal prayer. So all of us grow up with... I don't know why this is giving trouble today. From the time we are children, we grow up with learning the Our Father, learning the Angelus, all these prayers. And very often, sometimes when we are at death's door, those are the prayers that mean the most to us. Vocal prayer, very important, and sometimes silent prayer, very important. In fact, from the neuroscience point of view, they tell us when we do an activity again and again, and here comes in the point of perseverance, when we keep asking God, so any activity that we do, more and more neuronal channels are connected, and we have uh, a thicker band of neurons there in a particular place. Perseverance in prayer, opening ourselves to different types of prayer will help us not to be bored, not to get distracted. I'd like to end today's homily with a beautiful old song, which I'm sure many of you know. So I'd invite you to close your eyes and allow the song to sink into you. And I request at the end of the song to just remain in silence, allowing God to speak to you after I finish. So you can close your eyes. Lord, teach us to pray. It's been a long and cold December kind of day. With our hearts and hands all busy in our private little wars, we stand and watch each other now from separate shores. We lose the way. I need to know the way things should be in my head. I need to know for once now the things that should be said. I've got to learn to walk around as if I were not dead. I've got to find a way to learn to live. Lord, teach us to pray. It's been a long and cold December kind of day. With our hearts and hands all busy in our private little wars, we stand and watch each other now from separate shores. We lose the way. Teach us to pray. Let us be silent and listen to God.